guys, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. Today's video was a highly requested video. So many of you guys have been wanting me to do another review on Slime Obsidian. So I purchased every single slime Slime Obsidian had available on a shop and we're just going to review every single one for today's video. Also, I do have a back to school giveaway going on right now. So if you guys haven't checked out that video, the link will be in the description box below and also in the cards above, but there's going to be three winners and it's international. So many fun and awesome prizes to so make sure you guys check it out and enter. And for today's post notification shout out, there are two of you guys and the first one goes out to Wolfie Potato and Kiwi Ava123. Thank you guys so much for having your post notifications on. If you guys want to get shout out in my next video, make sure you click the little bell after you subscribe and comment down down below when you've done that. I'm going to keep this intro nice and short for you guys because I did purchase 10 slimes so it's going to take a little bit of time to review. So let's just get right into the slime shop review. Woo! So I spent $125 for 10 7 ounce slimes, including shipping. I had a coupon code, so originally my total was $160, but with the code, my total came to $125, which was a really good price. All slimes were nicely bubble wrapped, and y'all, I was shook. I received two extra bags. So I received two airheads, business cards, and borax. My package arrived in three days, which is insane considering all the slimes I ordered. Also, based on previous experience, just be aware that the size of your order will not change how many extras it comes with. I personally do not mind, but in case you guys purchase and are expecting extras, this might not be the shop for you. So first up, we have Cinnamon Toast Crunch Krispies. Love the label and logo. It has such a clean and professional look. This is a slushy bead slime that came topped with some cute Fimo slices. And you guys might notice that it looks slightly sticky. It's been super hot here and this package has also been sitting for a little bit, so totally not the seller's fault. I thought this slime had a perfect ratio of slushy beads to slime and there was zero bead fallout, which was amazing. It's a very crunchy and sizzly slime texture with some really good bubble pops. I am in love with the scent. It has a strong scent that smells just like Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal. It smells so good. I thought that this was a really great slime. Next up, we have Cotton Candy Jelly Fizz. This is a pretty multicolored slime that came topped with pink and blue heart sprinkles. I love how vibrant the colors of this slime are. It looks so pretty and they hardly mixed while in transit. It just looks amazing. This was such a unique texture too. You don't come across too many Jelly Fizz slime textures. This actually might be my first one. So obviously it's a hybrid between a jelly slime and a snow fizz texture. It's not the best slime for ASMR. It has some pops, but it's still a satisfying texture to play with in its own way because of how unique the two textures combined are, if that makes any sense. It also has a strong cotton candy scent, which smells so good. Moving on, we have Rainbow Frost. This is a pretty multicolored slime that came topped with clay sprinkles, hollow star glitters, and a rainbow charm. So cute. The colors hardly mixed in transit too, which was awesome. This is another unique texture. I've tried out Mythical Frost before from their shop, and I remember I wasn't a big fan of the texture, so maybe it's just the Frost line of slimes. The slime has a very wet consistency to it. It also doesn't have a lot of stretch and leaves quite a bit of wet residue on my hands. It's a very light and airy feeling slime, but I'm just not a huge fan of how wet this slime feels. I did love the scent though. It smells like rainbow sherbet, not strong or overpowering at all. Next up, we have Rocket Pop Jelly. 
I've always been a fan of Slime Obsidian's Jelly Slimes. This is a thick and holdable jelly slime that came filled with white star sprinkles and heart glitters. I love how thick this texture is, but it's not too thick. It's still stretchy at the same time and it doesn't feel sticky at all. The slime has amazing bubble pops and it's great for poking as well. My favorite part about the slime was probably the scent. It smells like a bomb pop popsicle. It's such a unique scent and it smells so good. The scent is slightly strong, but I love it so much. This was an amazing slime. And now we have a Lilac Sunset. This slime looks so pretty in the container. It's a two-tone slime with a pastel purple and blue color. And it came topped with a cloud charm, moon charms, and moon glitters. This was another frost textured slime. And again, it has a very wet residue to it. Maybe eventually I'll start to like this texture. I've seen quite a few of you guys commenting saying you love this texture, but for some reason, I'm just not a big fan of it. It just feels overly wet, and I also don't like how it's not very stretchy. But let me know what you guys think if you've purchased the Frost Slimes before. Next up, we have Blue BB Softy. This may be my favorite slime out of the group. It comes topped with pretty cloud femo slices and heart and circle sprinkles. This is a very dense slime that feels like a cloud dough consistency. It's a very unique texture and I love it because it's holdable and you can bring it pretty much everywhere without having to reactivate it. You can tell it's clay and snow heavy because it's very thick and holdable, but it's also super fluffy and stretchy at the same time. It has a strong blueberry scent, which smells so good. If this one is in stock, you guys have to snatch it. And here we have a blue lemon glimmer. This one leaked out slightly, as you guys can see, but the container was still pretty full. This Bingsu bead slime is so pretty. The colors didn't even mix into each other at all, which is just incredible. It comes topped with lemon Fimo slices and pretty sprinkles that match the theme of the slime. It was melted and sticky right out of the container, so I added in a little bit of activator. I might have overactivated it slightly though. Bingsu bead slimes really don't need a lot of activator to get it less sticky, but I still thought this slime was really good. I think this is my first time trying out a Bingsu bead slime from Slime Obsidian, and I love it. It's super crunchy and has the perfect amount of bead to slime ratio. It's scented like blue raspberry lemon lime. It smells so good. And I love the color it turns into after mixing. It reminds me of Tinkerbell. This one was amazing as well. Next up, we have Ice Cream Bar, which is a DIY clay slushy bead slime. The top is a white and brown marbled clay piece, while the bottom is a thick white glue slushy bead slime. This was so fun to mix together. It was slightly sticky out of the container, but I still just mixed the clay and slime together and it turned out perfect. This turns into a soft and spreadable slime after mixing. There's zero bead fallout and it has a delicious sweet ice cream scent to it. This might be my second favorite slime right behind Blue BB Softy. It's a nice holdable slime that is just so relaxing to play with. Moving on, we have Galaxy Jelly. The color of this slime reminds me a lot of ultraviolet. It's so vibrant and pretty, but it also looks like it might have some blue in it. 
I noticed that it has star and moon hollow glitters, which is definitely giving me galaxy themed vibes. This is another amazing jelly texture that starts out thick, but not overly thick, and it softens as you play with it more. I did also notice that this one melted a little bit more while I was playing with it, but it still maintained a pretty thick texture. The scent of the slime was amazing as well. I can't quite figure out what the exact scent is, but it smells like it has a light fruity scent. I love how these slime textures are pretty consistent from restock to restock. He definitely has his recipes down. And lastly, we have peach gummy jelly. Yay, another jelly slime. Right when I opened the container, I smell the strong peachy scent. It smells so good. It comes with large peach Fimo slices, heart sprinkles, and hollow star glitters. For some reason, this jelly felt a little bit more wet than the previous ones. It could be the fragrance oil making it feel like that, but it still has the amazing thick and holdable jelly texture. I mean, it's really incredible how these slimes have been sitting and they've hardly mixed and still have amazing textures right out of the container. I barely had to add activator into any of these slimes. I've always been a fan of Slime Obsidian Shop and I can't wait to purchase more slimes, so definitely check them out. And that's all that I have for you guys this week. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and watching today's video. Comment down below another slime shop you guys wanna see me review. I do have a Kawaii Slime Company review coming soon, but I wanna kinda of switch it up and do a different slime shop. So if you guys wanna see a full on slime review of a particular shop, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna spend around 100 to $150 on a slime shop, so definitely give me suggestions of who to purchase from next. Like I said earlier, make sure you guys check out my back to school giveaway it's still open there's going to be three winners and I'm giving away so many awesome prizes a Starbucks confetti color changing cup like so many awesome prizes that I'm super excited about thank you guys so much for being here I love you all so so much and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys